Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video on this channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get the highest FPS possible in Minecraft 1.16.5. Someone requested this in the comments, and I'm also going to record one tomorrow on the best shaders for like lower end PCs. For you guys that want to use shaders and stuff, but you don't have that great of a PC. So I'm going to be uploading that tomorrow. So if you guys want to see that one, make sure to turn on post notifications. Um, but yeah, let's actually get right in the video. So the first thing uh, you're gonna need, I'll put a download link in the description, is something called Optifine. I have a couple videos on my channel, I think two videos, um, one for 1.16.5 on how to download Optifine. It's a very, very simple process. Uh, but if you don't wanna watch my video, just search it up right now, uh, really quickly. But if you already have Optifine, um, I'm just gonna show you guys right now. So we're just gonna go to our options right here in the menu. Go to video settings and these um, are my current settings I have seven chunks on right now because I usually put shaders and a resource pack and he's not like crazy good so I have to like you go around seven or ten chunks I just keep it at seven so it's really smooth so these are my settings right here as you can tell it probably looks different than standard minecraft settings because I do have all the fun so we're just gonna go through them so my graphics are on fast smooth lighting is on maximum this is just preference I just like it you can have it off minimum or maximum maximum obviously gives you the least amount of fps but it looks the best and then i have my smooth lighting level on 100 my gui skill is on two it just changes the way the menus and stuff and like your hud at the bottom looks i just have mine on two it just a lot nicer looking um my brightness this doesn't matter dynamic lights uh this is only an optifine setting so like i said earlier you're probably gonna want to have optifine for this because half the settings uh, are not gonna be on the standard Minecraft. So dynamic lights, uh, you can have them off, but this is basically just when you're holding like a torch in your hand and it'll show like lights around when you're just holding it in your hand. So you don't have to use so many torches, you can only hold one and it's just a lot better in my opinion. I'm not sure if it really gives you uh, less FPS. Um, maybe you just hold your mouse over top of like anything like this dynamic FOV. It'll just tell you what it does. So you can get a brief description for yourself. I'm not going to go through every single like description on each one because this video would be 30 minutes long um but actually we're going to do details down here these are just my settings i have my clouds on default mainly because i plant shaders i just don't touch these so clouds default trees default cloud height one percent uh which this is any you don't have to have it on one percent uh it doesn't really matter uh my rain and snow is on fancy i'll check i don't think yeah i don't think it's uh affects your fps so you can just do whatever you want for most of these Biome blend, uh, this will, like, if you have it on off, this will give you a ton more FPS. I have it on my max because, um, let's say there's a savanna biome and a normal, like, grass biome. It will just blend the biome, like, really good so you can't even tell if it's on maximum. But then if it's on, like, off, it will just show, like, the blocks just colliding and it just doesn't look good. But I have mine on maximum just for the best overall quality. Uh, entity distance is just how far you can see, like, mobs and stuff like that. So mine's on 150%. You can have yours on 500%, which is the slowest uh, for your FPS. You can have yours on 50, which is the fastest. And then my 150, it just works for me. And that's pretty much all my settings. You can pause here, just copy all of them right here. Next, we're going to go into animations. Um, I'm just not going to go through every single one. You guys should just pause the video. And holy fuck. Jesus, man. My voice box. All right. So you guys can just pause. Um, this video here if you guys want to um copy every single one of mine you can do all on all off i'm pretty sure i'm all on so you don't even have to pause it just put yours all on it's done it's pretty simple um my entity shadows we're just gonna go back up here my render distance like i said earlier seven chunks max frame rate mainly try to achieve your monitors mine's 144 145 is the closest so that's what mine's at if you have a 60 hertz do 60 fps but yeah mine's on 145 just because i have a 144 hertz monitor but it doesn't really matter so uh attack indicator this doesn't do anything dynamic fov don't think it does anything quality this is basically i'm just not going to go through every single one of them again you guys can just copy this uh i'll just let you guys pause the video you guys can copy that and performance this is just what mine looks like render regions off fast render off uh fast math on smart animations on smooth fps on smooth world off chunk updates one dynamic updates off and lazy chunk loading on uh, and then i think the last one is other i believe uh which yeah right here so this is just preference i believe like this doesn't really affect your fps uh full screen mode you probably want to have full screen mode on just because i'm pretty sure full screen always gives you more fps than windowed or 
windowed full screen would. And that's pretty much all the settings um, that I have for you guys today. This is just my settings that help me get a lot of FPS. Just when I'm playing standard vanilla Minecraft without shaders, uh, without resource packs on, and stuff like that. It's just pretty much going to wrap up this video. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. And uh, if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. I'm going to upload a video tomorrow. But yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.